Hi, my name is Zach, and in this video, we're going to discuss how routing works in Palmarium Zero. Now, to do that, we're going to build a route to Grafana, which is an open source observability platform. And so you're aware, I've already pre-configured Grafana and Palmarium Zero to run in Docker containers. Okay, so let's get started. In your Zero console, go to Routes, select a new route. You'll notice on the left-hand side, we have different types of route level settings. We'll configure a few of these in a little bit, but not all of them. So let's go back to the general tab. We're going to name our route. Let's call it Grafana. Next, we need to enter the from URL. So this URL is the, is the one that users will enter into the browser if they want to access an upstream service behind Pomerium. In our case, it services Grafana. Uh, this URL requires a scheme and a host name. So in our case, we're accessing over HTTPS. So let's enter that. Then we'll, name the, we'll enter the name of our service, which would be Grafana and then our cluster domain name. And in my case, that would be trusted dog 1049 .app. Next, we need to define the to URL or the destination URL. This is where Pomerium will direct the response from the upstream origin server for an authorized authenticator request. In our case, we're going to use HTTP as the scheme and our service is called Grafana. If you're not using Docker, this would also be localhost. We're going to define the port uh, the default port for Grafana is 3000, so we've entered that. Next, we're going to enter our policy. I've pre-configured one for Grafana, but this policy basically says that if you have an email address ending in palmarium.com, it will grant you access to the upstream service. Okay, so next we need to configure some headers settings. So let's click on the headers tab. The first one we're going to talk about actually is the host rewrite to header field. So this actually rewrites the host header to match an incoming header value. This is specific to Grafana. If we don't do this, then the host header will not match the origin header. Um, it'll uh, trigger Grafana to throw a 403 origin not allowed error. You can read more about that in our, in our Grafana guide, but for right now, let's just take care of it. So we're gonna enter this URL into the host rewrite to header field. Now the next setting that we need to talk about is pass identity headers. And what this does is it instructs Pomerium to send specific identity headers to the upstream service. Um, in our case, this would be the JBT assertion header. So Palmerium, Palmerium cryptographically signs this on behalf of the user, and this actually enables single sign-on for the upstream application. We've already configured Grafana to accept JWTs, uh, but for right now, we're gonna leave it unenabled to see what happens. So let's save our route, supplier chain set, and then let's access Grafana. See, now I'm prompted to log in, which we don't want to do. So let's change our settings. We're going to go to Pass Identity Headers. We're going to enable it. We're going to save it. And then we're going to apply our change set. Now, when we access Grafana, it should sign us in seamlessly. And let's scoot the screen over. And you can see the user details. I'm already signed in. And there you have it. That's how you configure routes in Palmarium Zero.